All right, so here in this video, I'll be showing you how to downgrade and patch Fallout 3 following the anniversary update. This will not only downgrade Fallout 3 to be compatible with FOSE and other mods, but also includes the Games for Windows Live removal, 4GB patch, mod limit fix, Intel HD graphics bypass, and automatic loading of FOSE when using the Fallout 3 executable, that is, if FOSE is installed. Any such mods will be made redundant by this patcher. This patcher supports the latest Steam and GOG versions of the game, both Game of the Year and regular editions, and will only apply the necessary improvements based on which version it's patching. Unfortunately, this does not support the German no-gore version, as Bethesda did not update it. Some of you should also be aware that the patcher is not intended to be used for installing Tale of Two Wasteland as that requires a different patcher without the additional modifications. I have a tutorial on the full installation of Tale of Two Wastelands linked in the description. Now to begin, you'll want to head to the Nexus Mods link in the description. That will bring you to the Fallout Anniversary Patcher by Stewie and C6. Once on this page, scroll down and go to the Files tab. Here you will see the main file for the patcher, in which you'll want to click the Manual Download button. This will then alert you of the mod requirements. Go ahead and click the download button and you'll now be prompted to save it to your PC. Select your downloads folder and save. You can now open up your downloads folder where you'll see the Fallout Anniversary Patcher.7z archive. This will require a file archiver such as 7-zip in order to extract it, which I have a tutorial on in the description. With 7-zip installed, right click on the archive, go to the 7-zip context menu and select Extract to Fallout Anniversary Patcher. This will extract it into its own folder. Once it has been extracted, open the folder, and here you'll see the files for the patcher. These are the files we'll need to place in the Fallout 3 installed directory. So for Steam users, find Fallout 3 in your library, right-click, go to Manage, and Browse Local Files. The steps are similar for GOG. This will open your Fallout 3 install location, in which you'll see the Fallout 3 executable files. This is where we'll be placing the patcher files. So with both the Fallout 3 folder and the patcher folder opened, drag and drop all of the patcher files into the Fallout 3 install, alongside the Fallout 3 executable. You'll know you're placing it in the right location if it says copy to Fallout 3. Once you've moved the files, you can now run the patcher executable, which will open a black console window that will automatically run through the patching process. Once completed, your Fallout 3 should now be successfully patched, and you can close the console window. If the patcher gives you an invalid executable error, verify your game files on Steam or GOG and try again. And now that the game is patched, there is one important thing to note. You will no longer want to launch the game using the FOSE loader executable, as it will bypass the modifications. So you'll now want to launch the game using any of the following options. That being with the Fallout Launcher, Fallout 3 Executable, through Steam or GOG, or through your mod manager with the Fallout 3 Executable set as the launch option. Just don't use the FOSE loader. So, for example, if we go ahead and launch the game through Steam, it will open the vanilla launcher. If we click play, it will then load the Fallout 3 executable, which has now been patched. So the modifications will work, and FOSE will be loaded if it's installed. We can double check this on the main menu by opening the console and typing in get FOSE version and hitting enter. This will let us know that FOSE version 1 is loaded. The added bonus of this for Steam users is that the Steam overlay will now work, the game will track hours, and it will display that you're playing Fallout 3 on Steam. So that is how you use the Fallout Anniversary Patcher. Huge shout out to those that made this patcher a reality. But that's it for this video. Hope you all enjoyed or got something out of it. If you did, please smack that like button down below, subscribe to the Fight if you haven't already, and ring that bell icon to stay updated in all of my future videos. It'd be super greatly appreciated as always. And until next time, this is Epoxy, signing off.